Live music, crafts and food, plant sales, book sales, farmers market, so much more. They all come to a head next month. The Berkshire Botanical Gardens Fall Fest. We have Michael Beck and John Cooper here to tell us more. Fall Festival is the 80th year. It is. Uh, we are an 80-year-old organization, and we've been running this uh, Harvest Festival from the get-go. So, yes, we are very proud of the history that we have in the county. So take us through the day. What can people expect? It's actually a two-day uh, event happening on Columbus Day weekend, October 11th and 12th, uh, from 10 to 5. And uh, you uh, show up, and there are literally hundreds of vendors on our grounds. We have a 15-acre campus that you can explore uh, and really do anything from looking at crafts, uh, getting great food, uh, and of course, all the kids' rides. So people bring their kids, and the kids love it. And there's a tag sales, a farmer's market. There are indeed. I mean, the tag sale is one of the big ones. Uh, people actually line up before the gates open at 10 because they want to be the first ones in the in the hall. You got to get all the stuff. Oh, yes. And uh, we call it our, our huge, our massive tag sale because it really takes over our whole education center. And uh, really, there's anything from clothing, uh, jewelry, uh, housewares, of course, wonderful furniture. Uh, it's a really a great thing to have. And lots of great local artists there, too, John. You're one of them. Tell us, first of all, about some of your work. We have some here. It's gorgeous. Thank you, Seth. Um, yeah, I, I do wood turn bowls and wood turn housewares. Um, bowls are kind of my specialty. I also make wine bottle stoppers and some other things I'll show you a little later. This is uh, black cherry. Um, I used to like to use as much local wood as I can, indigenous to Massachusetts. Also and on the table is uh, some walnut and some maple. And you're just one of the many artists. What else can people expect when it comes to the artists there? Give us oh, some there's, variety. There's a few other people do wood, um, wood things. My father-in-law is going to be doing uh, some fantastic birdhouses there. There's jewelers. Um, there's people uh, working with glass. Um, potters, all sorts of great things. And it, it's, a, it's a wonderful festival. I always enjoy going. And the whole weekend's going to be at the Berkshire Botanical Gardens, yes. which have been around, once again, for 80 years. 80 years. Tell us about those, because I think a lot of people, sometimes it's tough for them to make the trip out to Stockbridge, but this is a must-see if you're going. Absolutely. It's an easy trip over if you're in this area here. Um, we are just a few miles outside of the center of Stockbridge, uh, really easy to find. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's your last opportunity to see the gardens before we sort of shut down for the end of the season. So really definitely try to make it out there. Now we're looking at some of the pictures from last year. Are those live animals? They are. They look like they're sort of a, a mutant animal with two necks. <laughs> but uh, no, we have really wonderful, uh, friendly animals, we call them, that people can interact with. Uh, of course, that's a big appeal for kids of all ages. What isn't there at this festival? I don't know. We try to, uh, we try to keep it interesting. We try to have new things every year. This year, uh, we have a, a great haunted house that's coming back uh, that people really loved in the past, and we're excited to have it back this year. So once again, it's happening Columbus Day weekend. Yes. All weekend long. 10 to 5, uh, October 11th to 12th. And later in the show, not only are we going to show you these wood bowls, but we're going to be doing the lathe. Is I will, that right? I will show you how it's made, and maybe you can have a try and a hand at making one yourself. Very cool. So you don't want to miss that. And if you want more information on the festival, there's so much on our website, mymassappeal.com. Welcome back to Mass Appeal. We're back with Michael Beck and Jonathan Cooper from the Harvest Art Festival. We're going to learn more about lathes and some of the wares that you can get at the 80th annual Harvest Festival. So this is our lathe here. And the lathe describes the machine, right? Yes, Not the this, tool. This is a this is a lathe. This lathe right here is a mini lathe. So it's like a bench top model, but you can have huge lathes, people doing spindle legs and everything. Um, a lathe is pretty much the oldest woodworking power tool there is, um, mechanical power back then. Um, but it just essentially spins the wood, much like a potter's wheel spins clay, and you're using the chisel to cut the wood as it's spinning. To create the contours. Now, you were saying this is a hobby for you. You got yep. into it maybe 10 years ago or so. Yep, 10 or 11 years ago. And it's something that people at home can get into. Absolutely. This is, you know, 500 or so dollars, yeah. and, and it's an investment, but it's fun. You say you just lose yourself in it. Yeah, you get a, you know, a little lathe, you can find them for 300 bucks. You get a couple tools, you don't need a whole bunch, and pair of safety glasses and a little bench grinder and you can you can have some fun. It's self gratification that can turn out in less than a less than an hour if you wanted to, depending on the piece you're really, making. I kinda wanna go out and buy one of these, but let's let's get a demonstration going first. Absolutely. So I we don't have a whole lot of time, so what I did here is I, I mounted a bowl which I've already turned the backside of. This is what it started as and it wasn't actually mounted like that. I actually cut the piece this way and the reason for that is I want the end grain of the wood. I want that on the sides. I don't want to have to sand that. Well and as we saw in some of your pieces earlier you can just really see all these grains and each wood yeah. is kind of a different story. This, it's like a fingerprint. Yeah and this is birch and uh, you can probably be able to smell the shavings of the birch when, in, when we started up. Um, it started like this then I rounded it down. I rounded the back side down by mounting on my chuck and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hollow out the bowl portion. So what we do is 
I'm gonna take it off. Take it off and the flip it over. Here. Yep, exactly. I'm gonna take it off. This really is something now. We're gonna flip well, it he's over. doing that. Give us the details of the Harvest Festival one more time in case people missed it earlier. Sure. I mean, all the details are on our website. It's berkshirebotanical.org. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the 11th and 12th, Saturday and Sunday of Columbus Day weekend, 10 to 5. So come come early, come both days. We'd love to have you. And there's everything. There's tag sale, there's food, there's crafts, or craft demonstrations. Absolutely. I mean, we pride ourselves on doing a lot of educational stuff at the Botanical Garden. So this is our opportunity to really have lots of demonstrations just like what you're seeing right now. We'll have demonstrations on how to make goat cheese, how to grow uh, tomatoes and garlic, all sorts of good stuff. So. And it's gorgeous where it is, too, the Berkshire Botanical Gardens. Absolutely, and I think it's going to be the peak of the foliage season, so another oh. reason to come out. See? Yeah. You can't go wrong, so let's give this Absolutely. Uh, baby a whirl. We'll give it a little whirl. We'll turn it on. Actually, not too, not too loud. Oh, it's all right. This is my this bowl gouge that I use. The wood's quite wet. It was actually cut yesterday. So it created a lot of shavings doing it, you know? That's all be, right. You'd be That's quite, what room's for. Yeah, I know. You'd be, you'd be quite surprised that a chunk of wood like this, you'd probably be able to fill up a couple shopping bags full of full right. of wood shavings with it. So what I'm doing is I'm just I'm just hollowing it out little by little. And some of the bigger pieces there are obviously going to take take a lot longer to do. But um, you were saying, you know, in a day, in an hour or two, you can finish a bowl like this. Yeah, I could, I could finish hollowing this bowl out in an hour. This bowl is wet wood, so it's not going to be able to be sanded right away. It's going to kind of clog up the sandpaper. However, when you're turning it and you are sanding out the lathe, it's generating enough friction and heat that you're actually going to be drying it out at the same time. Oh, yeah. So you can finish it in one day. Well, nobody is using this part of the studio again for the rest <laughs> of the show, so you're more than welcome to stick around. And thank you so much for giving us the details. Once again, it's berkshirebotanical.org for more information if you want that. So there you go. Shall we? We shall. Let's keep going. <laughs>